That block on LeBron was pretty crazy. I mean, uh, it definitely uh, gave me some pub and you know, social media blew up. Everybody back home was calling me. You know, after the game, he really didn't say anything. I mean, he just said, uh, he said, good game, young fella, and just say, you know, um, I like what you're doing, keep it going. I mean, as far as the block was concerned, he really didn't say anything to me, but uh, I mean, I'm sure there was some stuff he wanted to say. Well, my high school life was definitely a lot different than my teammates. I, you know, I was always that kid who was always on my books. I was in AP classes. And I was up until like four o'clock in the morning doing my homework and I had to practice the next morning at six o'clock. So, I mean, that had to stop. Uh, right before I injured my ankle, I was really, you know, I was at the boiling point and I just wanted to give that all up just because, you know, I really just wanted to be a normal teenager. I wanted to live a normal life. I wanted to go to the, you know, the parties in high school. I wanted to, you know, hang out with all the girls at their school, all that kind of stuff. You know, just be a normal, a normal kid. I mean, that injury is really what, you know, revamped everything. You know, getting injured like that, having the game taken away from me that I love for, shoot, seven, eight months. I mean, I got a chance to be that normal kid and it really wasn't, what it led up to be. Yeah, so when I was in college, I decided to wear the number 52. I had a friend back home named Habram Rosario. He passed of, uh, you know, of cancer, and it was, uh, it was definitely a tough moment for everybody. He really just uh, was a big role model for me, and I mean, I'm not sure if he knew that, but he was, he was huge in my life. But he wore number 52 in football and basketball, and um, you know, we came with a, flow, with a slogan that said, all we do is remember 52, and I wanted to kind of keep that tradition going when I went to college and kind of carry a piece of him with me. Now, on draft night, that night was, that was, it was such a frenzy, and um, I just really didn't know, didn't know what to expect. Um, you know, a couple days before that, I had heard that, you know, I can go anywhere from the number five pick to the number 14 pick, and then the day of the draft, I heard that, you know, you might fall to the second round or be a late first for the first round draft pick. Finally, heard my name called at number 11 by the Pacers. You know, it's like my heart dropped. I just uh, it felt like I was floating across the stage when I went to go shake the commissioner's hand. I really haven't been that haze that much as a rookie. I mean, I have to before every uh, plane trip, I have to go get these breadsticks from the, a spot down here called Kilroy's. And um, they're like these stuffed breadsticks. Everybody on the team loves them, but whether they eat them or not, I had to get them. Like one time, the first time I got them, everybody ate them. Like the, after that, a couple weeks after, like nobody touched them. But if I didn't bring them, they would all get you know mad at me. Be like, why didn't you bring the breadsticks? So, I mean, I'd spend like 60, 70 bucks getting these breadsticks every other week. First start was definitely a great game and a great uh, milestone in my career as well. I was actually at home and my dad had just came into town because he we had a stretch of home games he wanted to catch. And um, coach called me and I and I answered it and I put it on speakerphone. He said, "Hey Miles, you know what? You've been playing really well lately for us. And um, I just want you to know tomorrow I'm gonna uh, put you in the starting lineup. And uh, I just want you to go out there and do what, continue to do what you've been doing. And uh, you know I think you're gonna be a great contributor to this team." And that was crazy because the fact that I had a speakerphone, my dad was able to hear that as well. And it was, um, <laughs> man, I, I mean, I can't even describe the feeling. Like I was just like elated, I was up, I was just like ready for the challenge. Uh, my fondest memory of my rookie year so far is probably when we played Golden State. I had my best game of my career thus far. I think I had like 31, 32 points, something like that. And it was just like a magical game for me. It's like every shot I put up was going in. I was playing great defense, like grabbing a whole bunch of rebounds. And I was doing it against one of, you know, what might be going down as one of the best teams in NBA history. You know, who knows where, you know, where basketball is going to take me. It's already taking me to a place that I, you know, to new heights, a place I thought I'd never be before. So there's no ceiling as to what I can do.